Yo, 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 everybody, we are back here again today for another exciting video, and today Jeez. we are back in Mafia 2. So the, the title of this chapter, might have missed it right at the start, it's called Don't Murphy's me, Law. Right? We got another job, something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Alright. So it looks like we got another job from, maybe from Henry. Um... So we're definitely gonna... You know what, let's wear Clay's jacket. What does it look like on, on Vito? Actually looks pretty good. All right. So out we go. Probably should close Joe's door whenever we leave, but we don't leave his, leave the door to his apartment wide open, why not? And uh, we head out. All right, let's get our vehicle. All of our cars need a repair, but we're going to take the Jefferson without repairing it just because we're still trying to save up that two grand to save our uh, our sister from the loan sharks, our sister and our mother, so we keep on trekking, keep on fighting, and it uh, looks like we're maybe heading over to Freddy's Bar right off the rip here to uh, see what uh, Joe's got in store for us here. Here we are, Freddy's Bar. Alright, Vito. Let's see what uh, what Joe's got in store for us this time. <laughs> hey, look who's here. <laughs> Where the hell you been? Playing around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we oh, talked about much? yesterday? We'll see in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! <laughs> I'm running some kind of fucking charity here. Do it. Now. Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're going to collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. <sighs> okay. Sounds like a plan, Joe. Sounds like a plan. Just drive to the mall in our uniforms and our Jefferson Provincial, because that's obviously what telephone company workers would drive. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys off. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. Huh? He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. I'm sure he does, but... If he was rude to our dad like that, then... He's not really the kind of guy I want to work with. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Come <laughs> on. I love it. I love when people get it when they get annoyed that you're driving so fast. It's so good. I am going. I am going 90 on a main road, but it's fine. Hey, you I just mean, went through a red light. No, I didn't. I don't have a license anyway. Why does he care? All right, Joe, let's go. This is the mall. This is the jewelry store that we're supposed to be robbing here. What are you doing? We're just picking the lock right here. An absolute lock picking extraordinaire, man. In we go.
What the hell is this? That's always Come the way on, to do boys. it. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here oh, for fuck you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my the ass. Fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. Yet again, another heist going exactly how we would want it to. You know, have a rival gang show the up and then the police show up in for. full force. Get him, lads. Go, Brian, go. The cops. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm with you. Shit, cops. Go, Joe, go. Get that door open. Can we move? Touch my ass Ooh. while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Ooh. Almost got it. Hold them off just a little longer. I got you, come Joe. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. You're out of here. Go. Vito, come on. Close the door behind us. Let's get out of here. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! No way out. Lol. Here I am. Getting out. How do you feel? Because, you know, when you're in a heist, the roof is always the best way to go. Whoa! Fuck! This is the roof. Don't tell me that door's locked, Shit, Joe. Dead oh, you've got to be kidding me. Great, now I'm in the business of shooting up cops. Love it. Joe? Any time now with that door, buddy. Gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Yep, I agree. You know, the roof. Best shot we ever had, huh? Matthew, you don't move your ass. I am with you. Fucking crazy, it's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Oh, yeah. Of course you're not. Last time we were this close to going to the going to jail, you ran away and we got stuck. Just the one guy? Oh, Joe, you're kidding me. Uh, I feel like there's a bug happening right now. Well, let me get on the ledge. Yeah, I knew there was somebody else we had to wait for. Okay. Come on. Peek your little head. I still can't get on the ledge. Well, this is annoying. Yeah, I know, Joe. Too bad I can't get on it. Alright, I gotta go down here and see if there's another cop that I'm missing. Yeah, this guy that decided he wanted to sit here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Go, 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 go. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Jesus, be careful. Almost lost it there. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> this oh. way. This should take us to the street. I bet it will. Can I get up the stairs? Go, 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 go. Wait, is this not the way he's going? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, Vito, we can't sit out here forever. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, Joe. Shit, cops! Freeze, police! There's no way out. Wow! I gotta just fall off the roof. What a genius! Okay, 
Yeah, I like the normal pistol better. Let's go, Joe. Oh my god, of course I can't open that door. Oh, okay. Get that door open, Joe. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Henry's never gonna believe this. This stupid bastards. Let's go. I was gonna say we're probably not in the clear yet. Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at the Irish my hands. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick Bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Alright, I'll try. So we gotta make it back home with our little wanted kind of, you know, thing on us. Which might be kinda tough. I mean, I think our best bet is just gonna be to seal the nearest car, which is this one. Obviously, it's not going to be the quickest vehicle we could ever take, but it'll do the trick. Nice little pickup truck. Because once you're in a vehicle, it makes it kind of harder for the police to uh, see you. Obviously, they have to see you through the windshield now. Is about six feet tall. Okay. Dark hair, I take it back. Build. I take it all back. Copy that. This thing is not fast enough to lose the cops, though. Go. Yeah, well, I know that. Alright, this is bad. There's roadblocks and everything all over the place. This guy is just on our tail. He's just faster than us. I might actually have to get out. Okay, he may actually be stuck there now for a second. Yeah, he's kind of stuck. We can go, we can go, we can go. Oh. Go, go, go. Holy. Just get away. We're so close to Joe's place. Oh, ah, uh, Holy, I think we did it. Woo! And we are back safe and sound at Joe's place. Yeah, getting some sleep, so we'll drink a beer this time. We deserve it after all the work we went through. Let me go to sleep and see what happens here in the next chapter. Chapter 5 The Buzzsaw. This is Joe's apartment, February 20th, 1945. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm, maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. Huh. That was something. All right, Vito, let's get some clothes on here. Get the leather jacket on and let's go. Drive to Freddy's to meet Joe for lunch. 
How are we doing on money now? Oh, we're getting close to that two grand for our uh, our sister and our mother's debt, or I guess our father's debt that then got passed on. Fuck you, stupid broad! But Get I... the hell back here! If you can't drive, you should Whoa. stay home where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. Hey, buddy. You smacked up my car. I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Let's hey, calm pal, down here. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Want to go, bro? I will take you. I will take you down so easy. Oh, yeah. How does that feel? Oh, he hits me with a couple though. How do you like that, buddy? Come on. Out here, thinking he's a good fighter. You're stunned now. Hope we get hit by a car. Fool. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mmm, you like it, I promise. I got to get going now. I'll see you around. <laughs> 50 bucks. You know what? <laughs> We're going to steal his car, too. It's the same car we have, but it's not in as rough a shape as ours, so... Excuse me. Making my way through town here. Everybody out my way. Yep, that's that's some good driving right there. Just you know, taking the lamp post with us, it's fine. Alright, so back here at Freddy's. Gonna see what Joe's got for us today, or if we're just meeting Joe or what. Hey fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. Hey, how you doing? He'd like one? to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. <coughs> That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me. The benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see you guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. Oof. So Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. 
It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. We could get you anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. All right. Let's see. So, we're gonna uh, kinda run down over here, go to the shop here in uh, Kingston. Let's see what we can do. Sure, we're uh, following the speed limit here, and then uh, so you gotta go do, I believe, Harry's shop over in Kingston, and then from there we pick up the uh, the big little MG42, which is similar to the one that we would have shot in the uh, the very first episode, and then uh, we go and take this guy out, I guess. So, hopefully, it's not too too far away. The speed while we're here. Ooh. Gonna have to hit the speed limiter here, so we're already in Kingston, so I assume he's not too far away from here. Probably along one of these side streets or something. I thought that was the hospital, but I guess not. Alright, so it's like right up here. Alright, so we gotta run over here to this alleyway and see what's happening. Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Nice. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? Oh, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 
504th parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give huh. those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Huh. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Nice. So Henry hooked us, hooked it up, you know, got us the gun for it and got us the ammo and... Not just a little bit of ammo either, he... he definitely really went for it here, so... Too bad it takes forever to move this thing. We're getting there, though. Alright, we load this crate in the back of the truck, getting PTSD from our job in the warehouse. Drive the van safely to meet Henry and Joe. We take the van and all, and out we go. So we're heading over to Sand Island, which is on this sign here, so it can't be too, too far away. And off we go. Speed limit's only 40 here, so if we see a cop, we're going to have to slow down a little bit. Can't drive too hectic either, considering we've got a bunch of rounds and a big turret in the back seat. Shut the music off here while we go for our little drive. Um, yeah, so hopefully... I don't know if the music's copyrighted or not, but I would assume that it is, so we're just going to try our best to use it as little as possible. Tell me this bridge isn't like an 80 or anything. I just want to gain on this cop a little bit so that I can get by him. So should be out of fish. Oh, changing the cameras of the vehicle, nice. Yeah, we should be long gone now. So I think that bridge that we just took, yeah, got us onto the sand island, so... We're making decent time here again. Probably don't want to be driving this reckless with a, uh, Big machine gun in the back seat, but, you know, it's fine. here, and this is where we want to be, this apartment right here, apartment 233 on Misery Lane, probably fitting for what's about to happen, <laughs> Joe's out like a light. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So 
He sent me to America and got me a job working for Clemente. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and they died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. Okay. All right, I'm on. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. Oh, come on. Give me the chance to shoot at him. Okay, I... We got them all! Stop shooting that fucking thing! I'm going to get from here! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, sorry, Henry. Ooh. Wow. Show nailed that guy. Okay, I'm lighting myself on fire, apparently. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the big guy. Go, go, we'll you. Okay, I've shot him so many times. Shotgun. Wasn't really expecting that. But now I've got the shotgun. Going in. Ooh. Oh no! Go! Got you covered, oh, Vito. Oh, oh. They teach you that in the army? It's fucking over. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I just got fried. Oh, that's unfortunate. Are we gonna have to start that all over again? No, dude. I guess I shouldn't have been. Oh, oh, you got them all! Stop shooting that fucking thing! I'm going death over here! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just running by. I'm sure Joe's got that guy handled. Guess I didn't learn my mistake from last time, considering I'm still just running out there. It's fine. Okay, you first, Vito. We're coming for you, Porky! Going in! I'll cut you moving! Showtime, Vito! Aren't you not doing too bad here so far? God damn it, now this whole fucking place is going to waste the bullets. Get the fucking best guy! Oh, Ooh, that was pretty good. Come on, show yourself! Vito, come on, huh? We gotta move! I'm the best! Oh no! No! Dude, no! Oh. <laughs> I guess I just gotta keep my distance against these guys, apparently. We got them all! Stop shooting that fucking thing! I'm going death over here! Pick up some ammo and then go. 
Hopefully this will be the last time we have to retry this or else that's going to be really annoying. I see we do pretty good there, but let me get into this section and things get a little tougher. Okay, you first. Oh, go, 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 go. oh fuck! Watch out! Going in. What the fuck is that? Juggernaut or something like what? Okay, hit the button, Vito. All right, let's do this. Let's reload the shotgun while we're here. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Hmm. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? All right, let's do this. Now we're talking. Come on, Porky's upstairs. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Don't kill me. Please, I got a wife. You should have thought about your wife before. I was doing it in your wife. Don't kill me! Oh, for Christ's sake! Don't regards. Oh. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> oh, he shot Henry. Fuck you, sorry, you... <laughs> Henry, you okay? Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg! Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Okay, well yeah, that's great. Get El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay. you idiot. Get easy, gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy, lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, Marona, you're heavier than you look. Alright. Fuck, fuck. He almost shot my balls gotta off. gotta get out of here now. Take it easy, he missed him by a mile. Let's get out of here, boys. Let's call that a day. No, hey, careful. Please. I don't want to die. Oh. Fuck. I know you got this. This whole fucking place is coming apart. We gotta go, we gotta get Henry out of here like ASAP. Gotta hurry. Fire spread. <laughs> oh damn. Let's go. We're out here, we're outside. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> Is that the police? Don't tell me we gotta lose the police and get him there in a certain amount of time. If I don't make it. Hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. 
Yeah. And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. <laughs> what great words of wisdom there by Joe. We're good though. I feel like we're making pretty good time. We're making our way to El Greco here. And try to save Henry before he bleeds out. I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get nope. me to El Greco, nope. damn it. Nope, don't mind me. Not wanted for anything. Just leave me be. Don't have a guy bleeding out of my backseat or anything. Either. Let's just go. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, the first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. <laughs> We're about halfway through our time here. Don't know if we're even close hey, Henry, to wait. Stay with me now. Yeah. Where we have to be. There, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Oh, they're gonna see us. It's such a bad time to get wanted. Okay, we're good. You drive like my fucking grandmother. <laughs> Listen, Joe, we're doing the best we can here. We're stuck going up a hill on this car that's super slow. Oh, we're making we're gonna make here with millions of time. We know that. that house. Park right in front. I think we might have gotten him there. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry! We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could've waited. But thanks. But hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. Now. All right. All right, so we have the cash repair of Father's debt, and we are going to do that here in the next episode so we're gonna end things here um kind of an interesting episode interesting way to end um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the series and as always we'll see you in the next episode guys peace out